absolutely love being a mom. Like this has been what I have been looking forward to doing my entire life and I do, I love it. And, but that doesn't mean that I'm not tired, <laughs> you know? That doesn't mean that it's not hard. I think that some people don't realize, you know, like I said, how much moms do. <laughs> wanted to do a quick video just keeping it real just having a little chat have you guys ever experienced mama burnout I would hazard a guess that you probably have no matter what kind of mama you are you know working stay-at-home mom work from home mom whatever kind of mama you are I am gonna guess that you have probably experienced what I am experiencing <laughs> and so I have just this last these last couple of weeks I have just been feeling burned out and fatigued. Well, my husband has been working long hours and um, I normally have my mother-in-law come on Tuesdays and my mom comes on Wednesdays. The days that my mother-in-law comes is like, you know, not exactly a relaxing day for me. It's usually when I schedule all of my appointments. It's usually when I get my grocery shopping done and it's like an, usually a very hectic day. I'm out and about running errands. I often have Sophie with me um, so it's not, you know, exactly a break day for me. Usually my break day is like when my mom is here, um, I will take a nap and relax a little bit. We'll hang out, go out, do something fun together. Um, but my mom was out of town for a month. So I didn't have that extra help for a month. And this was like at the same time that Bill was working long hours and we just got a fence in our backyard. And um, so there was so much prep that had to be done getting ready for that installation and this the part that we had done professionally wasn't the whole you know it was just like part of the yard and so my husband has been doing all of the rest of the yard himself building a fence so <laughs> so even on the weekends when he's been here he's been out working on the fence um, and still it's basically like I just haven't really had a break it's just you know with the kids 24 7 and for several weeks in a row without a break it gets exhausting. <laughs> Sophie is an amazing sleeper and I feel so blessed about that. Um, but she does wake up, she has been waking up at like 6.45 in the morning and it's probably normal for a lot of people <laughs> but if you guys know us you would know that we are night owls and we have been doing our darndest to get ourselves to bed a little bit earlier than we usually do but that 6 45 a.m wake up it is killer for me <laughs> usually we get up at like sometime between eight and nine i mean not that that's like horrible but it was just one more thing getting an hour to an hour and a half less sleep than i was you know because she actually was sleeping until 8 8 30 before but you know she's been waking up a little earlier lately just all these things together like not really having much help just going 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 and getting a little you know getting less sleep than usual chronically and to top that off Alex is teething his last teething thank god <laughs> um, but he's getting the last molars and so those have been a killer too so maybe this is just a vlog for me to to rant and vent a little, I don't know. So anyway, I think the point of my vlog is this, just to say that like, I think that it's really normal to experience that and just to feel like you're not alone, you know, with social media and everything, you know, the whole issue of, you know, people feeling like everybody else has their, you know, all these other moms have their lives so well put together. But I think often, you know, people just aren't sharing that part you know so here I am to share it and say it is normal I am exhausted I just feel like I am dragging sometimes for example like when I am at reaching the end of the day and I am already exhausted as it is and then it, I have to do the whole dinner and bedtime thing with two kids by myself <laughs> and like I have to drink a cup of coffee at like 7 p.m. just so I can like get myself that extra push, like pull myself up by my bootstraps and like get the kids dinner, get them to bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I just have to drag myself to do it sometimes. And I guess my other point of this is just to say that like I think it's okay for us mamas to like feel justified feeling exhausted. It's a hard job. What we do is hard work. 
and you know I think that often a lot of people don't you know people that don't have kids or they haven't had kids in a long time they don't realize just how physically involved it is and like how many zillion little things that moms keep track of you know it's like you all these little things that like you don't even think about that like most people don't think about um, that you do to keep your kids day running smoothly you know all of the things that you organize and the things that you schedule and appointments and you know and then meeting all their physical needs and emotional needs social needs you name it it's like you're just doing a zillion things throughout the day am I right there have been some people in my life where I have expressed this to and they have come back with like well you really don't have a reason to complain you have it so easy you know you are so lucky that you get to be a stay-at-home mom and be with your kids like how hard can it really be there are people who have it way worse than you and you know you're you have it pretty good and you know and I, I acknowledge that yes, like I really do feel very fortunate that I am able to stay home with my kids. And I, I recognize how much of a blessing that is and I am thankful for it every day and I, and I truly would not change that for the world. I absolutely love being a mom. Like this has been what I have been looking forward to doing my entire life and I do, I love it. And, but that doesn't mean that I'm not tired, <laughs> you know? That doesn't mean that it's not hard. And um, I think that some people don't realize, you know, like I said, how much moms do. And a stay-at-home mom, like, it's you're not just sitting on your duff all day. Yes, there are certain times of day when, you know, maybe you are kicking back a little bit more. Maybe the kids are napping. Maybe I'm browsing Facebook during that time. But you know what? That's my one break during the day. <laughs> people who have paid work still get breaks during the day, too. So, you know, it's not like I just have this, like, easy-peasy life, you know? And I've read articles about this, too. You know, people asking stay-at-home moms, so what do you do all day? <laughs> it's like, really? Do you want to try this? <laughs> like, it's not easy. It is a ton of work. And, you know, for people who do work outside the home, you know, the kids are being sent to be cared for by somebody else, and somebody else is doing that hard work. And you're paying them to do that hard work. So it's like somebody is doing the hard work, and it is hard work raising small children, raising children in general, um, but, you know, especially small children, it is very, very physically and mentally demanding. Anyway, rant over. <laughs> I think I just wanted to get that off my chest and throw that out into YouTube land and just put out there also the importance of, like, how important it is for mom to get a break. You know, people who have a paying job usually get, you know, even with full-time work, you get a weekend, right? You get time off. Um, moms get no sick days. We get no vacation. You know, we get no personal leave. Like, there is no, you know, break. <laughs> and so even at night, we have to be on call 24-7. So it is definitely a very demanding job. That said, it is an incredibly purpose-filled job and like I said I absolutely love 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 my job I love being a mom I enjoy it but I have also learned that I have to carve out time for myself um, I mean I know you'll hear this as advice from seasoned moms all the time is you just have to make that time for yourself because if you don't carve it out it doesn't happen you know it's just like exercise if you don't carve out the time it doesn't happen um, it's like the same you know, like doing anything that's good for you. You have to carve out the time, especially when you are a busy mom. So thankfully this weekend, my husband has been working a little bit less and I have been able, in this last week, my mom was back. Um, and so I was actually able to get in a couple naps this week and I am starting to feel like I'm recovering from my burnout a little bit because I have been getting that much needed self-care time. Anyway, so I hope this is just a vlog that will help you, you know, feel like you're not the only one who experiences mom burnout and just a reminder to take that time for yourself and to take that time to rejuvenate. You know, in order to do a good job, a 
of being a mom and doing what you got to do in this life, you have to be well rested so that you have that energy and that love to give. Anyway, I hope this video was, you know, some sort of encouragement to somebody. So anyway, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Standing in front of the mirror and you just start having those like negative thoughts about yourself. Like, oh, like, I don't like this, I don't like that. And like, oh, I feel gross, I feel frumpy. Like, um, what I've started doing is I just tell myself, man, snap out of it. I say, Lord, help me to see me, see my body the way you do.